The character for the kidneys itself, uh, which is the idea of a minister who is a prostrate before the emperor. There's two sides to this character. On the bottom, when you have this, uh, this means flesh, a part of the body. This part here is like a piece of meat hanging up in a butcher's shop. And you have that with the liver, with the lungs, with the spleen, with the stomach. Interestingly, we'll see in a minute, not with the heart. What does that mean? The heart is non-physical, that's what it means. And the triple heater doesn't have it either. It's a function, it's not a piece of meat. But on one level, it is a piece of meat. And on the left-hand side, where we have this part <coughs> like this, I forget exactly how it goes, but it's the idea basically of a minister who is prostrate. And when I say prostrate, I mean lying on the ground. Which is interesting, because the kidneys is water, and water goes to the lowest point. And it's no big deal to be down on the ground. So, yeah, maybe you're the most powerful of all if you're prostrate before the emperor. So just wanted, it's just nice to see these little things even inscribed in the characters themselves. The other part you have here, is basically a, a hand holding a stick, a hand holding a stick, which is the idea of uh, firmness, a little bit like a master who has a stick, uh, a symbol of authority, a symbol of power, uh, and especially a symbol, context of the kidneys, of firmness, to be firm, which which we're going to have in a minute with the idea of to, to be able to close. You know, the kidney is related to winter. Winter is the time to close all the doors. And if the doors are not closed, then things leak out. And this will be a big deal for the kidneys. We want to be able to uh, keep inside. So, just a little thing on the character itself. Here you have, we talked quite a lot about the trigrams and the hexagrams last time, and this is not from an alchemical book, but from a commentary to a medical book, the Nanjing. Jing means a classic, Nan means difficulty, the Nanjing is the book of difficulties, the classic of difficulties. And this, if you go read Chinese, you can see the chapter, it's 3, 10, 6, so it's chapter 36. Nanjing chapter 36. This is actually from Paul Unschuld's translation of the Nanjing. Sorry, Paul Unschuld. It's called the Nanjing Classic of Difficulties. And at the back, he's um, brought together these diagrammatic commentaries. Each of the chapters has been made into a little picture. And this is the picture of the Nanjing 36, where it's talking about the fire and water kidneys. And it's explained simply with hexagrams. And if you remember from yesterday, water was yin yang, yin. So that's tan, that's water. And fire is yang, yin, yang. We fire. And if you remember, we had hexagram 63 and 64, and that's what you have here. You have this perfect, perfect shuffling, if you use a card pack image, of yin and yang. The yin and the yang are perfectly shuffled. So this one is yang, yin, yang, yin, yang, yin. This is hexagram 63. Hexagram 63. Perfect achievement, uh, already fulfilled, already come to completion. And the top one is hexagram 64, which is water underneath the fire. So you're not boiling the kettle yet, but you have everything. You just need to put the fire under the water to get things moving. So just to show you how these things are, they're not just some kind of uh, side stream. The Nanjing is an important classic of. Chinese medicine. So these ideas are mainstream, if you like. So, 
Yuki Ching, the concept of change, the source of change, the beginnings and endings, fulfillment and potential, all of that is related to the kidneys. They are young, they are a pair, they are a couple. We talked about that uh, yesterday, no, the kidney in, the kidney out. That's unique, that's unique. There is a double aspect to the heart. There is a heart and a heart protector. So there is an inner heart and an outer heart, but that's not the same as two separate kidneys which know how to work together. That is the wisdom of the harmony of yin-yang, which is the kidneys. Just a picture from an alchemical book, just so I, sorry, showing the kidney, the water kidney, the fire kidney, Ming Man in the middle, and uh, the sign, the spine, just showing how the kidneys, the spine, and in other pictures, this would continue up into the brain. It's, it's, it's all one. It's all one continuum. When it's thinking about the left and right brain, it also yeah. makes it Thank you. Absolutely. And it's both so one more yin, one more yang. Yeah, that's common. And that they're expression of kidney parts. They absolutely are. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. From the classic so medical texts, Kidney is responsible for Zhoqian, the activation of power, the activation of strength. And this Qian is part of the name of Dumai Wan, Dumai Wan, Qian Qian, long and strong. It's the usual translation, we have other translations. Length and strength to be able to go long for a long time and still retain your strength. This is classic kidney stuff, classic kidney stuff. And obviously when you know the Chinese, you have these kind of resonances, because you know that this is a description of the function of the kidneys, and then suddenly you have a point name where that comes up. So you know that this beginning of the spine, you know, which is this representation here, in a different context of the girl and the boy paddling the water wheel in order to return the energy to the brain for restoration of power and strength and thinking ability. It's also responsible for ji chao, skill and ability. Skill and ability. Kind of a cleverness, a know-how of how to live life. All this is inscribed in the kidneys itself. Look after the kidneys and your life will look after itself. The Yuan we talk about a lot. It's linked to the source. The kidney is kind of your, represent your representative of the source. Uh, with the two characters we looked at yesterday. The kidney is the authentic yin, Jen. Yin and the authentic yang, the jing yang. And notice again, this is the same character here for authentic, true, perfect that we have in the other map, the cultivation of perfection, the cultivation of authenticity. It has a lot to do with the kidneys, with the dark, mysterious, unseen, invisible root of life. If the root's okay, why would the plant not be fine? It's the concept. So the functions of the kidney are the same as the functions of winter. And these, these are quite nice, succinctly put. B, sun. B, when you have a gate or a door with a lock on it, the kidney has to be able to lock the door, has to be able to close. And you see that very clearly in old age, when the kidneys are not closing the doors. It can be uh, incontinence or even double incontinence, because it's the kidneys that governs the two lower orifices, the anus and the urethra. The ability to close, to close off when you finish peeing, to close off 
uh, when you finish defecation. That's a kidney function. It's a doorkeeper. And on the upper orifices, yeah, you see that in older people, the tendency of the eyes to weep, to leak fluids, or the mouth can no longer close, so they dribble. Yeah? All of that just shows that the kidney power is declining, is beginning to decline. So you need to help the kidneys, the kidney three, you need to use local points, stomach four, use uh, the my 24, these kind of points to, 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 to help, to, to strengthen, make sure they sleep enough, make sure they eat enough. You know, all, all these quite simple things can be really helpful. And the concept of uh, sound. Sound. Sound means to, to store, to keep preciously. So to close, to store, to keep, all of these concepts. Then to seal, to seal something up, which is an alchemical image as well. To seal something, hermetically seal it, so that uh, nothing can, no impurities can go in, and so that the purity is, is contained. Maybe when we're looking at those, why don't we look at... Uh, the resonance of some of those images in some acupuncture points. I just want to talk briefly about kidney 23, 24, and 25, because they will contain some of the characters we've just looked at. And never mind what the names or numbers are, what, it, what is happening here? We have an area where the kidney meridian, which came from kidney 1, which you stimulate at every step. Coming up the inside, we saw it all disappears deep underground in the thigh, comes up next to the Renmai. I like to call the kidney meridian the banks of the Renmai River, you know, because that, that's what it is. And the kidney is this authentic yin, the Renmai is the sea of yin, and that they're working together. One is just an expression of the other. Coming up here, obviously so much, so important in fertility and potency, helping in the digestion, anterior heaven supporting posterior heaven in the middle detail, coming up to help the lungs and the heart, and that's what we have here. Here we have kidney 23, 24, and 25, and if I just, do you have the name of the points? Yeah, have a look at uh, page 8. Just want you to notice, and you, yes, you have a translation, great. So, give me 23. This fun is exactly the same character that we have here. It means to seal, to hold in. This is a strong name. If you want to keep the Shen sealed in the body, not drifting, not scattered. Because remember in the classics, fright, fear and fright, shock, scatters the Shen, scatters the Shen. So this is a fantastic point for fear and fright and nervousness and constant long-term anxiety, yeah, which has become a habit of being. But that's like the opposite of the strength and rootedness and never mind what happenedness of the kidneys. This will then seal the shed. Kidney 24, Ling Shu, that's the Ling that we saw yesterday. Yeah, you can see it there. It's the Ling that we saw yesterday. 
the spiritual power. And Shul is a place of emptiness. And here, with these points, we have the kidney meridian coming directly, directly, physically on the left, over the heart. Yeah. The water is coming to cool heart fire. The water is coming to nourish the heart. The kidney and the heart are seriously talking and seriously in intercommunication. Of course, in a woman, this is also the breast coming to the level of the area of the breast. Bring Shu, an, an empty place. Shu is non negative. Be very careful. You know, we talk about spleen chi shu, lung chi shu. You think, oh, shu must mean everything's disappeared. Now, shu related to the heart, as we'll see later today, is an emptiness where anything is possible. It is not cluttered, it means uncluttered. It means a, a clear space. The given 24 is a clear space to restore your limb, your magical power, for lack of a better expression. In 25 is Shen San. That's the character that we have just now, San. Storing the Shen. Storing and keeping the Shen. Protecting. Guarding. This is storing, not like storing in a museum or something, but storing in a greenhouse, you know, giving it a sheltered space where it can achieve its potential. And as you can see, here we have three points, one after another, in the area of the heart. Two of them related to Shen, one of them related to Ling. Yeah, we have a clear indication of the importance of the kidney meridian for the heart. Storage, seeing, and emptying. Emptying of what you don't need. Emptying out to clear. To have a clean slate. To start again. All of those things. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring those in. Uh, the indications physically, as you'd expect, they're related to cardiac problems, respiratory problems. Uh, palpitations, but with this kind of nervousness. Yeah, just think that the, all the benefit of the kidney, which knows how to govern life, is lost. Yeah, fear and fright means insecurity in who you are, it means uh, losing your footing, be, being afraid to stand up, being afraid to move forward, all of those things. And it has a lot to do with kidney heart relationship. Because the heart brings peace and the heart brings joy. And it has a lot to do with the kidney and gallbladder relationship. The gallbladder being kind of daring and pushing boundaries and limits and is courageous and independent minded and free spirited. And it's interesting that the moot point of the kidneys is on the gallbladder. Gallbladder 25, gallbladder 25, is the new point of the kidneys. Okay, just wanted to bring in a couple of points and, and show how these concepts, uh, even if you know just a little Chinese, it, uh, you can um, join up the dots. I talked a lot about the gene, one of the three treasures, of course, and uh, stored, guarded by the kidney. And this is where we finished last night with this important sentence. And later on, we'll look at the other two important little phrases that uh, we have. Shen Dong, Jin Zhe When the body does not move, the Jin becomes fat. Relating to the concept of meditation, to the concept of stillness, and here, specifically, when the body does not move. The other two phrases, one will relate to the yi, and the other will relate to the heart, when the yi does not move, when the heart does not move. But this is physical. Physical. 